What you guys got another video here for you if you're trying to install uh, a driver or device driver and you're having an issue where uh, an error message comes up saying Windows uh, cannot uh, verify the publisher of this uh, device driver then I'll show you how you can uh, get around that now inside Windows 10 we are here and if you've got Windows 10 professional or above you can have group policy editor and if you haven't and you've got uh, below uh, Windows 10 professional like Windows Home or something like that then you can use the registry and I'll show you how to do both of those now this also works inside Windows 7 Windows 8 Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 but we're on a Windows 10 machine here so let's take a look at what we can do here to re resolve this issue so first off what we're going to do here is go into um, our group policy editor so I'm going to type in there GP edit and open up the group policy editor we just quickly expand this out so we can see what we're doing here like so so once we're there we can go to the user configuration and then go to the administrative templates pull that little tab down there like so and we want to go down to where it says system pull that little tab down and inside here you can now see let me just expand this so you can see it it's saying not configured so we're looking for the uh, driver installation here and you can see it's not been configured and if we look here you can see the code signing for device drivers so if you are installing a lot of drivers if you work in as a sysadmin or something like that and you are install a lot of drivers and you want to disable this feature temporarily you can do or you can ignore it or warn it now let's have a look at down on the information screen here you can see there it says ignore directs the system to proceed with the installation even if it indicates an unassigned, uh, unassigned files so there's that um, setting there you can do or you can set it to warn which notifies the user that the files are not digitally signed and lets the user decide and this would be that red box that you get popping up also you can do block which uh, detect, uh, detects the system to refuse the installation of unassigned files now this is a great feature if the person is always getting infected by trying to install drivers and stuff like that and you want to block them you can also set this to that okay so all you need to do here is click on this here like so and uh, once you get in here you need to click on enable and then down the bottom here you can see this little drop down box that says ignore warn or block so if you want to warn you can get the warns uh, message coming up which actually lets you proceed or you can just ignore it altogether and it will allow you to install those drivers especially if you're having issues to uh, install and that should allow you to install the driver straight off now also um, which way I want to do just going to apply this and OK so if you're using uh, a Windows 7 or Windows 8 or 8.1 or Windows 10 lower than uh, Windows Professional then you need to use the registry editor to change that policy so what we're going to do here is come down and type reg edit now if you're on a Windows 7 machine you just type reg edit into the search bar there and it will open up the registry editor just like so and once we've got this open we can go to H key local machine here and uh, we're going to go into software pull this little tab down here then go into Microsoft pull that tab down and then we're going to drill down to where it says uh, driver signing which is there and inside here you will see policy we can click on this and once you see the policy here you can see there's a load of zeros here obviously zeros are default and that represents installing drivers without any warning um, one so if you change this to one here uh, 01 uh, that would uh, display a warning asking user before installing that driver what they want to do and obviously 202 would be uh, not to allow any unassigned drivers to be installed on there okay so basically uh, that's how you can change those inside the registry just like so so anyway 
I hope this one helps you out guys uh, my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos then hit that like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I upload new videos if you've got any questions or problems with your computers you can always head over to the forums and uh, join up over there it's free to join or if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page you can also head over there and hit that like button over there it doesn't cost you a penny so anyway have a great day and I shall see you again in the next video bye for now